Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and in today's video I'm going to show you another little project I've been working on. Now you may have recently seen the video with this mini solar charger um, which I did and that incorporates the lithium ion battery, the charge, little charge controller and the USB booster amplifier circuit and I'm using that to uh, I've got it connected up to a solar panel, a little 1.5 watt solar panel there which then runs off up to the solar panel that's stuck into my window and I've been using that to charge my phone and it works really well um, you can see there I've got it in this little plastic box and uh, the videos on YouTube are all uh, generally around fitting it into an Altoids tin which is probably about half the size of that um, maybe a bit smaller, probably a bit smaller than that but uh, I thought right what can we do with that, can we get it even smaller so what I've done is I have tried to work it into this little mint tin this is not an Altoids tin this is a lot smaller than an Altoids tin you can see there I've got the socket in the side for charging the unit and in the end there I've got the USB port where I can plug my phone in and if I open this up you can see in there I have crammed everything into that little box you can just see the mini USB there if I ever want to charge it via the uh, main socket but the chances of me wanting to do that are pretty slim I'm generally just going to be using it for solar and that all just fits into that little tin so everything that you see in there apart from the lithium ion batteries I've chosen a little smaller battery for that which I'll show you on some of the photos shortly but I've crammed all that into there so now I can unplug my solar panel plug that into there like that and if we open it up you should be able to see in there the little red LED blinking away so that's showing that it's charging okay so what we can then do is just connect up my little USB lead here plug that into there and bring them bring the meter in just connect the leads up now the if you remember the booster circuit boosted the 3.7 volts up to 5 volts and there you go that's it boosted up to 5 volts so with that in mind I should now be able to unplug that carefully get my iPod charger plug that in there Get my iPod, plug that in, and there you go. You heard it beep there to say that it's charging. Switch it back on. Okay, so there we go. So I can now take that little unit with me in my pocket <laughs> I suppose uh, in my backpack and I do have the other little solar panel which uh, this one here which produces 5 volts I'm not sure what wattage it is but that produces 5 volts so that should be enough to trickle charge that battery so uh, 
I just need to do a bit of testing on that now. But I'll leave that charging on the uh, on the 1.5 volt solar panel, the bigger solar panel. And uh, what I'll do now is I'll just show you a few photos of how I put the whole thing together, because it was quite a I had to, quite a lot of thinking involved. I had to uh, change the design a few times to try and get it all crammed in and to get it all to fit. I had to do a lot of measuring to make sure that when I pushed the whole unit into that tin that everything lined up and then I had to solder the socket in last. It was all a bit tricky but uh, in the end it all went together quite well. So I'll show you some photos now of how I'll put it all together and uh, we'll do some testing in the future. So I hope you enjoyed that, uh, why not have a go, see how small you can get it, if you can get it any smaller than that then fair play to you. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.